Uh, so the main idea to set up a solver is basically you need to set a, up a relationship between the objective, which is the utility function here, and the arguments, which are the weights of the of each asset in the portfolio. So these are the arguments. So you want to maximize objective, and we need to write this objective as a function of the argument by changing the arguments. So, and here, the utility function is the mean variance one, which takes is the expected value of x. X is the portfolio here. portfolio minus the CU truth multiplied by the variance of the portfolio. And so the important factors here are this number and this number, which is the portfolio mean and the portfolio variance. The portfolio mean is just the sum of the weight multiplied by the mean return or the average return of each asset. So it's basically this number multiplied by this and this multiplied by this, this multiplied by this and sum up. And similarly, the variance is the sum of the weights squared multiplied by each variance plus two times the sum of the weight i multiplied by weight j and then multiplied by the covariance of i j. So f for example, it's this weight multiplied by this weight multiplied by the covariance, which is this number here. That would be why I included this variance covariance matrix here as well. So uh, after you calculate these two numbers, you write this utility function uh, as this thing here. So then you, you, have, you have related the utility as solely as a function of these things. So so the end result is basically we want the sum of these three numbers to be 1, which this cell means the sum of these three, it should be 1. And why are we want to maximize this? So the thing you do is you go to data and solver. It will be a window like this. And then the objective, you just choose the cell. And by changing, you are changing these three numbers here which are the weights. And then you need to add one constraint. I need to remove the one I had. You just add this one, add this portfolio sum to be equal to one here, and click OK. And then you click Solve. And then if you want the sensitivity report, by the way, you, you, you just click this and click OK here. Then what you see is these three numbers are changed. It's actually very messy, but you can see that this and this number is, is changed. So what it means, this portfolio will consist mainly of the, the Tata stock and some gold, but no S&P.